What is going on everybody? This is 2K Toro and I am here to bring you another banger. We have a game breaking discovery today everybody because I am going to show you how to get team takeover in just two plays. Now this only requires two badges and this two badge combo is the best in the game. And I'm telling you guys this was so OP. We had two team takeovers in one game and that's just us playing normally trying to finish the game. If we prolonged it, you know, tried to get three or four, I'm pretty sure we could have done it. Now it is important to mention, you can do this if you are a shooter or a slasher. Let me show you what I'm talking about now. As you can see, my teammate hits me with a flashy pass and I hit a corner three. I didn't even green it, but look how much my takeover meter went up guys. And you can see it, I had no takeover progress until that shot. And if you haven't guessed it by now, you have to receive a flashy pass in order to get this takeover boost. Moving on to the next offensive possession. I do go to the right corner this time and wait for the flashy pass. And look at this guys, I don't even green it and I still get the team takeover meter. I am telling you guys, this is game breaking. And be sure to share this with your friends so you guys could all get situated. Trust me, you do not want to fall behind when people are getting team takeover twice in the game and you're just sitting there with none. Now to get team takeover in two moves, you can either do two shots or two driving dunks. But I'm also going to show you guys how it's possible to do one of each. As you saw in that play, with that driving dunk, I was able to basically get my first takeover meter all the way up. Now this next move here, I am going to catch another corner, wait for the flashy pass, and sink this corner shot. And with that corner shot, I was able to get another team takeover, guys. I did realize that shooting does increase your takeovers by a little bit more. For driving, you may need to do two plays and maybe another rebound or two or a block just to get the full team takeover. But with shooting, it seems pretty easy. Now that you guys understand the concept, I'm going to show you guys the two badges that you need in order to get team takeover in only two plays. But before I do, you know what I gotta ask. I gotta ask you guys to like, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And let's see if we get this video to 300 likes, guys. Come on, I think we could do that. Now the badge I'm talking about for the slashers is called Heat Seeker, and it reads, gives an additional takeover boost on inside shots. I had it on Hall of Fame, but I think gold is just fine. And for the shooters, the badge you are looking for is Hot Shot, and it reads, boost takeover meter after hitting jump shots. I had this on gold and it was an easy two shots for me to get team takeover. Now my player is able to get both of these badges, but if you're a driver, make sure to get heat seeker and if you're a shooter, make sure to get hot shot. Either one of these will work depending on your playstyle. And last but most importantly, your point guard does need to throw you a flashy pass while having special delivery on gold or hall of fame. And special delivery reads, takeover boost for both the passer and receiver after a flashy assist. Additionally, this badge increases the alley-oop throw success and shot chance for receivers after a flashy pass. And now that you have the badges, that is all for this video everybody. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope this helps you out. Be sure to drop a like if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Peace.